Look, I'm going to call a meeting to order. A meeting in the Young County Commission's Court, September 23rd, 2013. It's about 9.35. I don't make note that the uh, uh, notice has been published and the man for the time required that all members of the court are present. Uh, at your convenience, please stand. In the case of the inner pledge. Our Father, have been thankful for this uh, great moment of country that you live in for the rest of the opportunity to serve those uh, uh, citizens who uh, have elected us to office. We ask your blessing upon the meeting, the decisions that we make are in the best interest uh, of theirs and in uh, align with uh, your will. We ask all of these things in the name of uh, Christ our Savior. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Texas pledge. Honoring the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Thank you. Please. Item number three, public comments, announcements, presentations. We have um, with us some of the um, Young County 4-H Council. Um, we have a proclamation here that uh, signifies October the 6th through the 12th is National 4-H Week. Would you like to make any statement for this 4-H group? I think they're just to introduce themselves and
Thank you, 4-H is a great entity that does a lot for our youth. Young guy who plays the sports, sports, he's uh, retiring fully. It's a great program, a lot of 
compared to most cases. Uh, we also have the in your package will uh, find them. This is just kind of a, for your information uh, with regard to the Wichita area community foundation. That's where a significant number of grant funds are received by the other entities within the Wichita Falls district, Wichita Falls area. And uh, it, uh, along with that, it uh, tells you just exactly how and where you can make those donations. Is there anything uh, else that might need to come through to this public comment side? I'm going to move to item number four. Consider county clerk minutes from the previous meeting, September the 9th, 2013. Are there any additions, corrections, or deletions? So sure. moved. Second. We have a motion by Commissioner Wiley, second by Commissioner Sipes to uh, accept these minutes as presented. All in favor? Aye. Uh, carried. By the vote on opposition. Item number five, Fort Bellhouse Water Supply Corporation Road Crossing Permits. We have uh, Mr. James Jones here to uh, address the court with regard to this. We'll have this statement here in front of us. I got um, here for two reasons. You get a permit on Cut Road, uh, McFadden Road, to put service in. The other reason I'm here is this fee. This is a little much, I think, for a fee for cutting the road. I can understand it for a deposit in case we don't put the road back like it was or better than what it was. But we try our best to put it back better than what the road was when we started. And uh, this is a pretty good fee for the customer to have to pay above what the membership is. And we also charge them for travel and uh, all the repairs that we put back on the road. Of course, it is. So, uh, just, the state doesn't charge us anything. Yes. I, I wouldn't have a problem with a couple hundred dollar deposit and if we don't put the road back, hold it for 90 days and then use that to repair the road. But, uh, you know, so if we try our best to put it back there than what it is when we start. Uh, yeah, first off, let me tell you the Fort Bill does an excellent job. Problem with cutting the road is that the settling of that road repair really doesn't occur for quite a while. You know, and given the geology of wherever it is that's put, some are worse, some never, some never occur. Never have any problems. We discussed this at pretty good length, and uh, the problem is is that sometimes. Not everybody is for building. And some of the old companies and some of the other people who trench across roads don't always do that as well as you folks do. Uh, we would hope that they would. Uh, once again, that deposit is for the long term condition of that road at that cut. Uh, not that it'll ever be a problem, but it certainly could be, and most of the times it is because I know we have culvert problems all over our roads when they settle like your installed color it's a constant repair and fix on that. Uh, that being said, do you, what does it cost one of your customers to get new service from the other side of the road to their house with this five hundred dollars included in it now? With uh, around eight hundred to nine hundred dollars. That's including this five hundred dollars. Okay, including all the positive standards. Y'all's meter set fee is what? Uh, 2600 2600 Yeah. So they're paying 2600 for the meter set, and then y'all are passing this $500 through. Yes. And people are coming and going, wow, that's a lot of money for this, right? Yes. But they didn't say, wow, that was a lot of money, when it was just 2600 Yeah. Yes, they did. Yeah. Yes. 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 
they did. And that's not fair for the neighbor that lives on the side of the road where the meter's at, or where the line's at. I, I know it sometimes it's the way it's the straw that you draw right you know um, there's all kinds of septic tank inspection fees and water fees that you have to pay when you move to the country and that's some of those costs that go hand in hand with it and they get feed out uh, they tell me about it tell me about it we just worked a budget and then we're about taxed out also and uh, I'm just trying to give you some justifications while we did that, and we're passing it to the landowner, right. and right. not to for a right. We we totally right. expect you guys to pass it through, right? And and, it, and probably to catch the heat over, but you're catching heat already on twenty six hundred dollars. Oh, yes, we are. So it's more heat now. Yeah, <laughs> the heat just got turned up, right? And also for a road board, the same applies. Mm -hmm. Right. Like I said, we we cut uh, state highways. Charge anything. And uh, shortly after I became commissioner, I think you guys cut across two roads, you know, free of charge. And uh, if anything happens to those roads, the county taxpayer will pay for it, but I don't expect anything to happen because you guys do a good job. I just don't know if we could exclude water lines versus petroleum lines. Them being a co op might make a difference in allowing us to virtually discriminate what we'd be doing. We could allow them a lesser fee. That's always been my opinion. As the water go on to, uh, and that's the way we've got the permit uh, worded also. Uh, permit fee can be refundable. That's always been my stance. I hated to put the fee back on the, the homeowner, the landowner, because, it's, like I said, it's, uh, it's going to be passed on to them, and that's the uh, taxpayer public. I don't have any problem with charging back to a cross country oil line pipeline going across there, but, but I think we need a permit system in place where that we know when and where it's going to be cut. Right. Yeah. As far as charging back to a uh, low up water system, right? You know, that's my stance. So I'd like to waive that fee, but I've been over. Would it be permissible for us to create a permit exclusively for? Water. While we leave the other one intact for other uh, various things. Yeah, I think so. <coughs> if you do co op water, then you can have to do co op. What would be you like your telephone here? Yeah. Yeah. More applicable, I think, to the whole circumstance would to be a floor on the permit. Special circumstances uh, on a road cut rather than a road cut. How many times do you have a cut? You're what, five or six, I guess, in the last uh, three months. What determines whether you bore or whether you cut? Um, uh, it's paved. It's paved before you cut it. It's a gravel road. You cut it. And also, if, uh, depending on uh, where it's at, Way this permit is, it could be restricted to board only. There's some, there are some county roads that uh, are not paved that I would, I would recommend be board rather than cut, even though they're an active service. But I know they go deep enough because we run our graders over. Of course, this is the reason that we framed before the commissioner before we discuss it to make sure that we're having the right operation in the right place. And I'm with Commissioner Rogers. I mean, I agree. If we charge them a fee, we're taxing our, our taxpayers too. So I mean, we're making them pay. Yeah. So why not give them? A I'm, I'm going to differ with you on that because this is a user's fee. Only the people who are getting water are paying for it. People down the road next to him are not paying for that five hundred dollars. They're all paying their taxes too. This is a user's fee. And no, well, I, what Mr. Jones is saying out. here is that the user's fee is pushing pushing the fee for his water up so high. I don't think they're going to go without water. Right. You know, and we don't have any determination to know how much money they're going to spend on that house they built there or how long their driveway is going to be. Right. 
are, are any of that kind of, there are other expenses that they pay, so in the long run, what is the $500? But I understand, I understand that it probably needs to have a have a look see on co-op water because it is a an organization that promotes first off rural living and I'm for that every chance I get. So. The uh, refundable change the refundable the refundable if that there what what that really indicates is if this permit passes for ninety days uh, and uh, installation had taken place and for some reason not going to take place and that fund uh, that the uh, refundable I think what that says there but there provisions I think the court could waive that fee on its on merit if they feel like that's in the best interest of it. Which I like is that ever a problem with the pop? Might need to be may need to be modified slightly to also provide for the imprint of the waiving. I think the court could waive it without doing that. Well, I've voted to approve this stuff judge because of that sentence that it could be waived to any individual in the house strictly based on Which brought before the court could with could could the court not ask for a waiver on that particular situation? But once again, a, as a fairness issue, you know I understand where some people spend an ever last penny they can to move to the country and put their house out there, while others are moving out who are substantially financial, you know, able to do so, are able to pay that five hundred dollars. It's just hard to discriminate between the two without really doing a lot of fact finding and. Such as that. You, how many how many permits have you asked for since we put this into effect? Five. Five. So in, I've only remember two coming across this last year, same day. I've done several. I mean, I know at least two for me. In, in those in those five, you've gotten that much complaint on those five to bring you here today. They yeah they complained when they first because I've I've spoken to people who've done it in my in my precinct. And all of them said, it's got to pay what i got to pay to get the water across the road. Yeah. You know, they've been just like all utilities, the deposits, and renting an apartment, and what have you. They were just, they were pretty well satisfied with that. Now, if it's a philosophical thing on, on your board to say that they, well, this is not fair, they're charging that, that's, that's a totally different kind of thing. You just heard from a customer? A customer? Well, for two of them. For sure, that, you know, why should we have to pay that? You know, why is this, why is this they don't ask that about your deposit. Well, yeah, but we explain it. You explain to them that's because of the condition of the road that's left in afterwards? On the deposit? On, yeah. on, the, on the road board. On the road board. On the road board. Yeah, cut, whatever. Yeah, well, yeah. what I assumed it was to start with was a deposit, you know, that we had to put up the deposit and that was refunded and we refunded it to the customer. That's the piece, so we don't get that back. So, you know, I think and I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that at all because they have helped me out. We've got one of their lines before they don't charge us anything. That's, that's another. It's not. Same thing. Start charging us. We don't feel like to charge anybody. We're not allowed. Sure. That's why until the last couple of months you've been born with all over your county with that or ever paid. Yeah. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. We try to put them back as best we can and better. I say you pay anything without the customer's pay. Right. The customer pays the equipment and material. Right. So we can charge anybody. You know, it's just right. whatever the trencher. Uh, 
is, that's fast on. We had nothing for that. And we all know the driveway. It's, it's strange because we seldom have a have a new resident for the county complain about us installing their culvert for free. You know, and then they're complaining about five hundred dollars for the and we pay for material, man hours, equipment, fuel to install the color so, on either side of the road. This is just a, a way to get back some of the taxpayers' money that's being spent on those roads and trying to provide long term better roads. Because a few months is not going to help it. A few days. But that being said, I started going back, revisiting it, looking, see what it we could revive this so that the court could get the permit. The person asking for the permit would come up here and explain to us why he's not able to afford that or why he thinks it's too high and give us an argument. That way we'd be happy to take that into consideration. Well, I think the customer knows that's what they're supposed to take care of then. Not the new government to take care of it. It's well, should we take Fort Bell out, out of it and have that fee paid here at the judge's office and then take a approved permit fee to Fort Bell that says here's my permit and let them do it there? No, I think a better solution would be to well have to request a waiver in the circumstances to make a need across the road by a cut. Um, make application for a waiver and then the court can, can waive that to be if they choose. Uh, it may not. And on the road, I think, and on circumstances, uh, uh, completely on whether it's cut or bold. Right. What's the difference in the color from the cut versus the bold? Uh, depending on where it's at, if it's in rock, it's pretty expensive to afford uh, stuff there. And uh, also, uh, they depend on who got the distance, they would be able to shoot on the board. Yeah. So, Just say the conditions are right with that rock. Around $17. $17 a foot. They got a minimum on it? Or, uh, no. Well, we had never board. Yeah. We had four cent rooms. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or some kind of road that we haven't let you cut back a few years. Back a few years ago, they were county water on the board. I think they were there in Princeton's green. They could push the rod through there with the back. I request that every time. They do that. We can probably do that north here. You get south here. Yeah. You can do it by but like on with this one here is for McFadden Road, and we don't have enough distance to get a board machine in there. Right. So we'll have to cut that. You know, I guess if we can't afford it, I guess we'll go aerial with it, I guess. But that's all the type of way to get more to do it. So, so on these lines we put in all the candy. situation like that if we ever run into a problem to where 
any of the commissioners don't feel like the road went back the way it should. I mean, it's not like you can't make a simple phone call to the office and say, hey, can we go out there and address it? I mean, we'll make it right. If, you know, like you will too. if there was ever an issue, it's not like we can't take our backhoe out there and fix it the way you guys want. I don't think that's the issue at all. The issue is trying to be perhaps something consistent. That's it. it it's, it's just that you're getting mixed up with people that, that might not in part just pull you out and treat you special while we treat everybody else a different way. And we're just trying to figure out a way to be fair, fair to you. I understand. You know what I'm saying? Levels of fairness. Right. So, but you have a gas company or a oil company, and they're not charging a certain person for it like they are. Yeah. Everything they charge with the price of their product is going to be just that. Right, exactly. Right. 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 I don't know because I had several, several conversations with, with Marsha downstairs at the uh, with the septic permits and the cost of moving to the country and that sort of thing and it can get very expensive and I don't know which one of those people need to lower their fees so we can add our fee in here. I just know we've added our fee along with everybody else's fee and uh, you know when, when one group adds their tax along with everybody else's taxes, your tax bill gets higher. Just happens to buy a piece of property on the wrong side of the road. Or, you know, you know, the guy on the wrong side of the road. Other side? Other side. Other side. Where the farmers got cattle on the opposite side of the road before they figured that, you know, got the road just sitting over there. I can say the conversation is obvious people with that. I had five hundred dollars to get water over there, whatever it takes to get over there. Which all of them have paid. I certainly don't mind revisiting it. to say what a commissioner while to approve the uh, application to cut my bad road 400 miles, 400 feet, not not miles, 400 feet north of the uh, intersection of Canyon Road.
Who don't plan on doing this? Uh, probably the person that's with me. Okay. 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 So you know where you're taking it? Location you wanted as your primary location, it's fine with him. So when you get ready to start working on it, you just let us know. And if Precinct One can be of any service to you, let us know. I, I think it'll be a good thing, uh, one for us definitely, but also in regards to him because it's a matter of his stuff, it's a matter of his organization, you know, giving him a good place to store things that uh, the others that are using the facility will also be able to utilize the building without the facility. Well, he referred to some of that stuff out there as, as disposable the junk needs to be thrown away. So when you get out there and start moving things around to, to create your location, let me know if anything needs to be hauled off. Now I should be contacting him in regards to all that as well. Okay. It's been a good for years that maybe a plane might actually. Well, people don't know whose it is and they're afraid to do anything with it. This time we just took charge of it and disposed of it. Well, they should be in contact with him and do we need any action on the board to allow that to happen? Did we move to approve that activity or do we need to? We need to go ahead and approve you. We've been tabled by a second. So I'm going to take a second. Yes, sir. I just want to say thank you. I said this is the last agenda item that allows our council kids to see how this is conducted. And if they were learning public procedures, it would have been a good, uh, a good teaching moment as well. So we'll bring them again. Because I think I've told you before, any leadership skills I may have developed over the years started at 4-H. Okay, we've got a real thing Mr. Pruitt, I'll second with Mr. Wiley to approve the use of the old barn for small engine 
the workshop for mechanical rates on the paper. Aye. Thank y'all. Do you need to add to include developing or building or do what it is? Yeah, and it's said that in my precinct under my, I'm just going to go ahead and let the manager order to approve it. I'll approve it in my precinct office. If you guys got any concerns about that, let that be done. Okay, we'll move to the um, supplemental agenda. It's about 10 15. Uh, that is um, consider bid openings for Brad Coldmore. Precinct number four. They've got their copy. Yeah, it's a sign. Yeah. Penny took it then. Huh? I get Penny took it then. Penny picked that up. No problem. Better get hold of her. We got a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> So if you find 4-H out there cutting the road, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's part of the system. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's a good project. Is that a good offer? Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Sure. you want to look at that? I'll second that. We've got a motion on one bid. We have Western 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 for Brad Cole Mowing the Hatchman, I have a motion by Commissioner Wiley and the second by Mr. Wiley. Do you accept that deal? Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Carried. I have a little more position. You want to contact Western? I guess that's in your order? Yes. After she gets the money. Yeah, bring the money again. Bring the check. Item number seven, Treasury Financial Report. Um, I presented you the um, activity for August. August of the uh, reconciled the overall balance of six million nine hundred five thousand.
Actually, that, that is for a new one. Yes, sir, it is. They had to confiscate one of them to pull videos of the dead animals. And it's still out of the FBI office, so we had to have some things. So we'll get that one back. We have 20,000, which 14 
that is promising a lot. That only makes it sound. I had a note letter, yeah, it was um, 800 to modify the old ones.
Well, you have a policy and procedure on this body cam? I don't have that for So the things don't, the things are supposed to start going south on an officer and he's clicking off, so it doesn't go against him? Yeah, it'll be a policy and procedure. Because I'd like to see the policy and procedure again. Make sure it doesn't just work one way. These cameras have to be downloaded for a hard drive. Now, those cameras, Car cameras, they pull up to the sheriff, to the office, and it downloads them immediately in like three seconds. So they don't ever have to take the car out and immediately download it. That's, that's one of the things I see about these cameras, they work in inches as well as for What you said, and they're wrestling with somebody you're getting shot at, it's hard to stay still. Real storm and we were seeing what we're on the camera. We had the I mean we had the money in this year's contingency that we could spend it. I mean if we if we could get it ordered and get the invoice pretty quick, we are gonna leave the year open. I think that's and if what it's something that I knew that right it's time when we could sure. I, you know, I don't mind if the program's properly going to control Make sure that, like this camera here, when it's on, it's on. Yeah. I'll make a motion for the other. Okay, good. Hang on. That is, I asked him to, if he was here last week. Last week. Yeah. I told him I needed a software. quote uh, for everything that's installed, walk out the door. That's includes software to manipulate it all. Question is all that is that they're going to be uh, providing $6,000 that will be. Well, what I'm saying, that's in next year's budget. Next year's yeah, budget. but if we, I mean, we've got the money in the this year, I mean, what are y'all going to do? We can do it all from the 13th of the contingency and get it over with and then have that 6000 on there. Okay. Make a motion we take the whole amount out of the contingency for this year, 2013. Is that correct? 24000 24 that was in the entire amount. It says a grant of 24 grand. 24 grand. 24 grand. Twenty-four 
I believe the doctor has got the, you got the plans in your safe somewhere? You would like to look at the roof structures in order to do that. Just, just get a number. Once again, we're doing that just so if we decide to raise the building to take it down, we know that we've done due diligence to find out whether or not it can be done at an appropriate cost. Also, I discussed with a group out of uh, Oklahoma, Four Wood LLC, Bill Kennedy, and uh, Scott Hatch, who own the old Walmart complex out of Tractor Supply. They've got a building out there, 17,000 square feet, that is vacant. They used to house Fred's little department store out there. They would enter into a lease with us on that to both archive and so we could construct any offices that we might need as, as we need them for $4.25 a square foot. Now that you're talking about monthly rent about $8,000. Or they would sell that building to Young County if they could separate it from the lot, just that building, 17,453 square feet, or $698,120. Now that, by leasing, you don't have the problems with maintenance because they have the, all the maintenance, the roof leaks, the air conditioner leaks, what have you. 17,000, how many square feet? 17,453. Or they would consider dividing that as well. This is by no means me finding a location for a county index or anything, but it is giving me an account of an example of what is locally available to do so. There's also some buildings around the square that might be able to be used as office space if one next door to Grand Leader is vacant right now if you need the probate offices. I know location is good to have probate offices on the square because of the clientele probation offices tend to. That's just something I just want to let y'all know, throwing some numbers out there so that when we do finally bring that up again for a decision, we'll, we'll have some numbers to work with. I will have that number for the metal roof, hopefully by the next meeting, and we'll see just exactly what that costs. I also invited um, Joe Graham, while we were over there looking at that roof, to come over and take a tour of the jail. So Joe was able to see that firsthand, what we had in there, and, Discuss the negative and the positives about that building. Of course, the positives still remain that we've got a very solidly built building on the square, location one. The only thing that Mr. Casey had to say when he got up on that roof, he said, My gosh, there's 40 vents or more up here. And whatever one of those vents, if you repair that roof, you still have those flashings around every one of those vents. And that's where the, the leaking problems come from. And also, the roof was made in what, two, three sections? It was added onto a couple of rows and added onto a sort of Two different styles of roof down there. That, but he may he may have really have something there where we could maybe affordably put a roof on there to keep the water out of it in the short term. None of these are long term solutions, but I'm not sure how long term a problem we've got. I know the county government has grown. We're going to eventually need some need some space in this courthouse. We're already fairly cramped, and we need to start making some plans for that. So these are just some information items for you guys to, to think about. We're going to discuss at a later date. I didn't think about that building this time. Right. Like, we might have a group of probation yeah, office. because there's already eight, ten rooms in there. It's no office. All right. And what's the alternative? What's the alternative uh, then for the building and property where the jail sales? Well, the alternative is, is that we do something to temporarily rectify the leaking situation in the building and continue to stack papers in the Rooms. I would spend a lot more money on the building and we create offices and take out some of those walls and, and completely renovate it for, for future use. Or we demolish it, get it out of the way, and find space somewhere else that's already available to us to do what we need to do so far as archiving paper and for offices for whatever county government procedures we need to have offices for. So there's a lot of options out there. I think we have another guy doing the backup, being a study to see whether or not we got the correct amount of money for our insurance. Mm -hmm. Make sure we leave the money on the table. Because sometimes.
sometimes those adjusters don't go the full mile, extra mile, and you can see the hidden things. So we got with uh, uh, IDIQ, and they're able to get with another adjuster, and they can go up there and make sure. And Cheryl, when she gets the check, she don't have to cast the check until we get this back to make sure. Because if we cast the check, that's like saying we accept it. Did you ever get a breakdown of what's no, this jail really. building versus the other jail building? They said the majority was over there because that was the bigger, but I don't have it right now. Uh, we received a check they had the treasurer for 63000 and she's going to hold it until I guess we'll see if that is a fair price. But they did say that the new jail was the biggest part of that. But for the right now, I mean, they did. Was there any withheld appreciation on that check? Uh, yes, there was. And if we, that there was some also held. And if we use a tips rubric, then we get back, I think it's 2500 or something. Oh, yeah. not very much. No. In relation to what we're doing. Yeah. No. Up into around 65, low 65,000 total. But before we rush in there and take the building down, I'll make sure we're going to be doing the right thing, but doing something else. I'm sure we'll be doing the right thing to do that. I'm doing it in deference to you, sir. You know the uh, the SB seventeen forty seven is designed to distribute the two hundred and twenty five million dollars set aside by the legislature to the counties that are affected by oil and gas production and exploration by virtue of the criteria that we mentioned in the last meeting. Uh, I've been dealing with Travis McCormick, who as of this last week is no longer with Representative Springer's office. Is going to work for the campaign of Wayne Christian or I guess that's the land commission. Yeah, well, that's my business. No, not our Wayne Christian. No, no, it's a different Wayne Christian. Yeah. Um, so that, that is that is slowed me down on, on getting his answer. Jennifer Vogel is now the new chief of staff of Park Group until he gets somebody in. But I did have enough conversation with him. My question about the TRZ was the tax allocation within the TRZ and what that meant exactly. And the best answer I can come up with right now to answer what the TRZ and the tax situation is is that we've got to supply 20% matching funds and that's the vehicle through which we will pay that 20% funds and also get our money into because it will be allocated for at the individual project. Funds are not just going to be given to us to use as we want. This might be given for a particular project, and that TRZ will be funding that particular project. That's the reason for it. And there is no reason that the entire county can't be the TRZ, so that alleviates the problem of us having to set boundaries around, a, around an area that we would specifically. We do need as many of the uh, numbers as we can. I believe Commissioner Wiley has been gathering those numbers, and so we're we're pretty close to that. My question, I'm going to Galveston on the 7th to a, a, a commissioner's conference and they have a special segment set aside for 1747. So I'll be able to network as well as gather that information there and we'll know whether or not we need to pass the resolution before given 60 days. Are we going to have to give the 60 days to the public for their comments before we pass the resolution or finalize the resolution? not be able to present a resolution beforehand and then give the 60 day notice. But it doesn't look like they're going to be taking any applications at the earliest before mid January. They're just they're not going to set rules on this until the 30th of September. So I think the last hearing was last week about that. So, so we're still ahead of the ball a little bit, but we're going to have to hurry up. The uh, getting the, our roads rated, such as A B C D one two three four five not motor grade uh, are uh, maybe one of the hurdles that we have to jump over. But I think your comment in the paper about the size of the grant, 
we stipulate that we need to try to do everything we can ourselves because if we get $40,000, it wouldn't make any sense to give away $20,000. So, anyway, so that's where I'm at on that. I'll, I'll know a lot more after the 10th of October. I've got, I've got my numbers on the overweight permits, injection wells, and also what? Nuclear wells. Nuclear wells. I went ahead and went back on the nuclear wells of 12 and, and this year to kind of get a comparison of what we've done. Can you give me those numbers just in case the public who may view this might have a different idea about those numbers? <laughs> right now, the nuclear wells so far have been 77 as of 13. We still have three more months left of 13. Last year we had 109 completed wells. That's new completion. New some good completion. And as of right now, Young County has 454 injection wells. Wow. In Young County. Have we mount those in? Have we mount them? Have we mount them on our road? No. no. But the good thing about this deal about having to, to, to get our roads, we've got a road uh, report we need to be turning in here before the end of the year. It's going up here pretty quick. So that's something we all need to sit down there and drive all the roads and drain them from A to B or A to Z and make our notes on them. Uh, on those injection wells, do you have a breakdown on whether they're commercial injection wells or private injection wells? It's on. According to what this says here, it just says injection wells. Is that the Railroad Commission? Yes. It's a straight from the road commission. Well, you know what? If you go on the road commission website, you can pull that map. Pull that map on you. 20% according to oil and gas production by taxes, 50% is well completion, and 10% is according to the volume of oil and gas waste injected. And so it doesn't say, uh, it says within the Designated the county energy and transportation reinvestment zone. So it doesn't say whether it's a commercial or a privately owned. It says it's it doesn't differentiate. It doesn't differentiate the between the two. Also, the overweight permits. Uh, as of now, so far, we have 6,759 overweight permits in Young County. I do not have that. I imagine there'll be more of that before the end of the year on that. But all three of these is, is part of the criteria that we need to meet right. according to the rules. It's and important that we just understand that we need to get this application in because every county that participates, which will be every county with a TRZ, yeah. will get the same dollar allocation per completed well, per permit, per whatever. Of course, we all know that down in South Texas, you're going to have counties where maybe a thousand or more well completions this last year. But well, so on a per well basis, we'll be getting the same amount of money. You, you we're probably going to be surprised because I can pull up on my phone what the other rigs are right now. And it, it surprised you where the, the concentration. You can go south. They're concentrated in South Texas, West Texas. Yeah, I'm better than some of them. Yeah, all that up there. We're talking Crockett County is going to be a an amazing amount. Crockett, Big Lake, all that area, and there's going to be big ground up, you know, Marmar. But uh, still, in just in our small community, we've, we've got a tremendous amount of wells. For being able and to I'll, I'll also be able to find out whether or not that money can be used to purchase equipment for a project, or does it have to be allocated to materials for the project? Because if we, if we could purchase equipment for the project, in the county, you could probably purchase equipment with this money and be able to use it after the project was completed. I don't think we'll be able to do that. I think if it works like our bridge system worked through TxDOT, then you come out there and you get a specific bridge on a specific road, and that money is allocated specifically for that. And the match, matching funds can come up from anything to do with inside your precinct or anybody else's precinct within the county. 
other words, if man's got some extra money left over and I need it, we can pull from his to mine, or, or vice versa. And that's the way it's done in the past through a bridge matching fund. And then it was 10% instead of 20%. Also, in, in figuring these costs, it's just like it does when our 10% deal. It, it, it entails everything down to the, to, the, to the penny. We're talking if we have barriers, if we have any extra equipment we got to get to do what we have to do that job, uh, man hours, equipment hours, fuel, everything that you can imagine you can put in that deal. And that's what it entails. But, uh, the only, company, the only place that said that it was going to get up 10% is those that are, are economically challenged will have an opportunity to do 10% matching funds. But I think we got plenty of roads on our part of the world with the traffic that we have. You know, the part your road out there on Rocky Mountain Road, it gets a heavy, heavy traffic road. Well, that's going to be a very expensive road because it's a paved road. What could he contract that out? Like the contract is out. Exact market. I think so. We have to come up with twenty two. Right. right. This one's yes. Yeah. You could. You could. But <laughs> my deal is, is, is as much as we can do in house, then we make the money go further. Because it's still covered that road. So. Well, well, it's not that. It's just it's coming up with a twenty percent spot harder because right. we can't yeah. do it in kind. Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what happens if we come up with a half a dozen two hundred thousand dollar project. We get forty thousand dollars. The way I understand this deal, we're going to get way up there because you don't have to complete the project in order to get the money. Yeah. And if you don't have enough money to complete the project, your twenty percent goes to the lobby or something. Yeah. So we need to be careful about that. Yeah. 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 Ye
pretty much the same as it was last year. She no big changes in the year. Also, a nation of design. Yes, and I'll be marked on how this week. So, motion ratify the contract with the group resources. So, I'll second that. All in favor? Uh, and also, on, we decided on the dependent rates before, but on cobra rates. Um, on Cobra, um, they can. This is an employee leave employment they can stay on. Our insurance for 18 months. Um, the totals on the left are uh, group resources suggested totals. We really never gone on any of them. They want to want to on the end. Um, on the one there in the middle, that's what that we're charging right now, and the middle rates. That's what we have been doing there too. Um, I did get the first bill for October that we will pay after the first year in our new year. And um, they are the two ninety two for employee six eleven if you have any dependents on there. So these uh, these amounts either way cover our cost. I only have one person on cover and they go off in March. At that rate, usually, most of the time you have someone leave, and they usually don't take our cover unless they have a lot of money and you can't get the insurance otherwise. So, just whichever y'all want to do, we've been charging them. Like the 60987, and we're charged for, I mean, that's for an employee, we're charged 292. So, we do have some. I would say stick with the middle line and the stick with that way it is. Yes, sir, the middle rate for what we're currently charging. What's that? Yeah. We're getting we're getting plenty of money to cover premium plus a couple hundred. I say I have one employee and it's a single only employee that's on there and they'll go off in March. Okay, they're currently enrolled in the people and we have some dependents. Yes, I do have some new, a few new people that took on there this year. And we're doing that if you'd like to do some payments. Yes, we support that. Any motion, please? Uh, yes, if you would. Mr. Wiley second but Mr. Rogers to maintain the rates current charge for our COBRA rates for the single employment spouse, children, employees. Why don't we go on? Why are we leaving them the same? Yeah. We're still we're still making at least two or three. There's enough padding in there to keep doing it. We don't have to overcharge. It's provided by the cost plus below. Yes, we're still putting money back into it. Yeah. 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 In fact, we don't have many people on it. That's not affecting many people. No, people have done. And these are people that have left our employment, and um, yeah, they stay on it 18 months unless it's a widow of an employee or something like that. Stay on. I think it's 36. You said we've got one right now. I have one. Yes. Comes off next month. In yeah. March. In March. Yeah. We're, talking, we're, we're talking maybe one every so many. Not very often. Do yeah. I have anybody going That's to cheaper. Work. Find Any further discussion? All favor? Aye. 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 Item number 14 is to consider a certificate of appointment for a local health authority. That's a 
Steve Jones was our last uh, local health authority. I have contacted him. He has agreed to serve in that capacity again. So much. Okay. Item number 16 we've covered, I believe, uh, and item number 8. Item number 17, consider moving wind energy checking account uh, open when we uh, negotiate the contracts. The general fund balance there is $3,007.68. And this is an account that was started when we first started doing the wind energy. This was promissory money, I guess, and so we just opened up a, a checking account just to put that money into and now all of that money we get goes into the general fund. And we so no longer need this account. Right. We 
Close that account, transfer the funds to the general account. So move. checking account to the general fund to close that account. All in favor? Yeah. Consider vehicle for a VA office to be leased after October 1st, 2013. Yeah, sorry. Kind of we are tired. Well, thanks. Right, it's my day. Next week I want to um, I've been in contact with Stuart and uh, we can't order a vehicle at this point if you didn't have to wait for the big thing come forward. That is insane. We did the other thing. It takes a long time to get in. He was saying, you know, suggested that we just buy one on the lot, whether it be a 13 or 14, in kind of whatever specs y'all. I know you said why. I don't know what kind is going on. I checked into a, a bed cover, and I think for any kind we get, it's a little less than $400. Worth that at least, or there's $500 they have in auto repair. But this is, we put $4,000 in the budget for next year. So, trying to see another couple. I would say either Dodge or Ford to the back seat for it to sell. Two, 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 two
without the without the overheads of the siren. Right. Okay. What kind? Yeah. Commissioner, you need to talk to Roger. Take care of that. Uh, do you do that for us? I just bought one. I just bought one too. And I bought a GMC. They've extended that rear lingering by four inches. It's all yeah. the right But that's neither here nor there. We, we need a utilitarian vehicle that we can get serviced properly. In. So, you, you're experienced at the moment. They see what you take care of. Them. Oh, sure. He, I mean, he can, he's got, it because he just, uh, he's doing leasing for a lot of uh, counties now. But I told him, you know, we don't want to lease back. Well, if you can give him a list of our preferences, can he pick us that one? Yeah, I mean, but he basically asked me what, what kind he can look at. No, we basically want uh, to look at whatever he picks. What kind he don't know, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. I think most of them come in with it anymore. Somebody needs to put chickens in. <laughs> I think I call a dog out of my one to two crops. <laughs> uh, what kind of boats would they go there? VA. Or not VA? VA. Do we need a motion in it? It's a budget item. It's a budget item. Yeah. It's a budget item. Yeah. Yeah. We discussed it. That's what we did about the consent. Or consent. Or. Centers for support behavioral science services. I think the whole contract's not in there, but there's a front page, I believe. Is there any variances as to what we've done before? This is identical to the one the last one. Can I move that we ratify that memorandum? I'll second. Psychiatric emergency services 9475 intellectual disabilities, which we used to call um, shelter workshop. Or 8,000. Item number 20 consider approval of payment funds out of archive to uh, 
move forward with the next 25 years of records to be imaged and uh, put on the Young County website. $30,000 item allowed there for paper. Talk. Don't make this presentation. We uh, have succeeded in imaging the, the, the indexes and the images are now online from 1992 to the present. We are now moving forward and going back another 25 years to make those images available on the website. So from 92, you're going to be working back to 72 or maybe before that, 60, 70, we usually round it off to whatever volume okay. that is. These are the only money, the only thing these monies can be utilized for. Yes. What you got that, Ken? Probably 75. Yeah. 60. What? 61,000. So now you got 30. Well, and we will be collecting, the, the funds collected for that account have doubled the next four years. Okay. And that's what we did on the on the budget. We doubled it to 50,000 and 50. So we knew that you were going to. So this would be like a yearly thing. I'm hoping. I'm hoping to eventually get all that done. Along with that paper. Um, I'm not sure. It, it's a, it's a little bit it's a little bit less of a process involved this time as opposed to last time because they were connecting the images to the indexes before. This time it's just going to be the images. I'm going to have somebody go in and index all those records. We're going to make the images available and then make copies of the indexes available. So they can search the indexes themselves and then tie that to the volume page. What do they do in person? Sorry? What do they do those in person? Is that why they do it? They look at the indexes? Yes. Currently, the only way to, to access those images or, or those, those volumes of pages is to come to the website has set up an account that anyone that makes a copy has to use a credit card and that comes back to our office. <laughs> <laughs> so Vendors actually going to have to come here and do the scanning because we won't allow them to take the books out. Right. Right. Okay, we have a motion by Commissioner Pruitt, second by Commissioner Sipes uh, to uh, approve the imaging as requested by the county clerk and the amount of thirty thousand dollars uh, to be paid out of the. Records archive fund, is that correct? Yeah. All in favor? Yeah. Uh, item number 21, consider replacing guess over Peter Duplexer that uh, Tulane. He was kind called me and he said that, that uh, Duplexer, we are having a lot of trouble with it. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. He happened to be dropped by there the other day and it was when it was on the blink. And he said it's pretty well used up. But due to a few other circumstances, it was not repairable. And they suggested uh, replacing that with a new duplexer and a cabinet uh, that would be broken proof that he had available. It wasn't a new one, but it was a good one. What kind of timeline do we have on that tower? Or? Well, I believe I believe our lease runs uh, till June. I believe it's the end of June the 14th. Has anybody talked to him to see whether we get the chance to redo it? I have not talked to him directly. Uh, we did go back out there and do a little repair on the fence. The gate broke the other day. But my, my deal is, is that building is not real good shape. It's no, just going to be a 
Pop Road and Road 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 Road. And I wonder if we would be here to get the inmates to build and support the building to set that stuff in. It would be more compatible with the library. You know, because if we do lose the, the deal, then we can take our building back with us. Yeah. I don't want to suggest one of these. Uh, I think it's like a 10 by 10 or 8 by 10 or something like that. Yeah, that's a, it's a little bigger than it looks. I might as well think they uh, about least eight. Yeah, and it just has that sort of stuff in it. Thinking that out there, though, we can always take it somewhere else. Thinking that out there, of course, why they're advertising those buildings for $1,200 and something dollars. Talk about the 20 foot storage container. And so far as durability and pest resistant being expeditiously done, if you want to, it makes you do something, they can find it. You know, all it has to do is just get a hold of this iron for electricity and all of it for the four months. Set it up correctly. Curious on whether you want to possibly want to talk inside of that. I think that would be good. If, if that's not it for the route, does it need to be? Well, if you do that, it helps in the heat. That was the end of the cooling. I think that's the cooling. Basically, what's out there right now is the weather. Yeah. Uh, well, I think it'd make our repeater last a lot longer. Yeah. So both places do it. Yeah, I think this is probably who? Justin Schubert. 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 He does all that stuff. Matter of fact, you take it out there, tell them what specs you want, you can do it, drop it out there. Since so we're paying, paying money for taxpayers that we might eventually have to move anyway, it'd be vulnerable and we can take it with us. Get the best deal we can. Get home. Or good stuff to pick up. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Now this this bill I did about building I like. You did good. Storage container too. Are you floating that right? Hey, we'll take a car cap down to posterity. Judge on the building. So I'll, I'll make a motion that we go ahead and uh, we gotta figure out where we're gonna put the money out of another deal. We're gonna wait till 13 and get the money out of it. Well, uh, we get, I'm gonna you know, pay for this out of 13 out of the sheriff's yes. equipment budget. Yes, that's what I'm saying. We got 6,000 left in it. Let's do that. 14, I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll go to There's nothing in there. Yeah. 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 Duplexer, uh, including uh, a broken roof cabinet for it to fix it itself. All in favor? Aye. And Mike knows that was for 22 kids. I think so. So, on the storage container, I mean, y'all can check into that, and then, I mean, we could pay for that out of non department then if we need it to go somewhere else. Well, that's a uh, that in this, you know, on this item. Y'all yeah, want to check in the price of it. The check price. We need to check the price. Reserve for future people. Yeah. Okay. Item can number we, four. Can we check on the prices on that? Yep. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay. Uh, item number 22, consider the Young County Resolution of Brandon's Health Care Grant. That's also in the bank. That's an annual. 
we are going to get uh, an extra amount of money. We did last year. That's our regular that we get. There is some money. That's the thing that we get. Yeah. About six thousand dollars, and then we got an extra. There's a uh, thirty million is going to be the chief. I think eleven twelve thousand dollars. Yeah. So we'll second. We get this right when we get this. Yeah, we have most of them. To uh, adopt the uh, Young County Resolution uh, for Indigent Health Care Program Grant on a paper. Uh, period. I uh, own no opposition. <coughs> item number 23 consider payment for ongoing money project. I think that's an item that we've left incomplete. Commissioner uh, Wiley. Yes, sir. We, we, we rescinded that vote in that meeting. We never did reinstate that vote. So I think we can do that so we can keep everything on the even though it doesn't make it vote today. I'll make that motion. I'll second that. The uh, motion is going to be uh, to leave the payment of that pro project open until we close. When the 13th book will stay open until the windows are complete. And we can leave it open as long as we want, but that's all the big thing over there. <laughs> Look at me that way. <laughs> I hope, well, I don't know how long this is going to take, but I talked to uh, Donnie with that data. He said he has some counties that leave them open for six months. We've been trying to close it by the end of October, but we'll leave it open. But that's all we're going to be paying down there after. Yeah, we're going to leave that until the account open. Yeah. Until the close of the 2013 books. Yes. Y'all in favor?